you've probably heard of it. Most people have because it's one of the most commonly known vitamins on the market. And B12 provides a lot of different health benefits from energy to nervous system and a lot, lot more. And a lot of people just take B12 shots. And with these B12 shots, they do get some health benefits out of it. But why not get more bang for the buck? There's places out there that are selling B12 shots for up to $30 for a single shot. What if I told you you can get 13 different components like B12, B complex, MYC, your branched chain amino acids, and L carnitine in the exact same shot for only $9 per shot? You're gonna say, wow, that sounds like a lot better deal, John. Well, it definitely is. And it will provide a lot more health benefits for you in the long run and in the short term. So if you're looking for the ultimate Titan therapy that's gonna include all these different components, you're looking for Titan Complete, and it's a real simple and easy therapy to get a hold of. All you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork, you're gonna see our medical provider, and then you can order Titan Complete and many more of our vast therapies that we offer. So if you're looking for something that's gonna provide a lot more health benefits than just B12, then you wanna go with Titan Complete. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220 and say, I seen John's video on Titan Complete, and I wanna get all those great health benefits for a lot less money. My name is Jonathan Price. I'm currently a vice president with Fitness International, better known as LA Fitness and our new brand is Sporta. Um, I'm very passionate about fitness. I've been doing it in my lifestyle for about 20 years. Um, so I love being in the industry and I love what I do. I actually was with another hormone replacement clinic and uh, I wasn't feeling so good. My uh, medicines weren't coming in on time. I could tell that there was a type of imbalance with how I was feeling, low energy. Um, and I knew something was off. So I came over to Titan Medical and, and I immediately noticed a huge customer service difference. Uh, everything was on point, all my shipments were on time. There was never a point where I didn't have my medication to where I felt off balance. So uh, since being with Titan, energy levels through the roof. People ask me all the time, how do you do so much uh, in such a little amount of time? It's because I always have energy, I feel great. Um, no hormone imbalances, I'm always, steady freddy and consistent so uh yeah since being with titan medical it's definitely been a game changer and a life changer uh, for me and my family you know i've known john and sharice for many many years uh since i was uh, in middle school and uh, as a kid and uh they're like family to me and as i was with another hormone replacement clinic i knew that i was having some issues and some off balances i didn't know if it was the right thing for me uh, so i ended up calling them and sure enough, I ended up finding out that that's not the way that this whole thing works. And uh, through their expertise, they brought me aboard and uh, I became a Titan Medical patient. And they found out some actual imbalances with my cholesterol, uh, with my hemoglobin. Um, I noticed my testosterone levels weren't exactly consistent with what I thought they were. So all in all, just um, very professional company. Uh, and I feel great ever since I've had my blood work done and my balances are back on point. So when I got with Titan Medical, uh, we immediately did blood work. Um, I found a lot of things that I didn't know were off in my body. Uh, first thing was hemoglobin and iron. Um, I knew my diet had a lot to contribute to that, but I've never had blood work done before like that, uh, or as in depth as I did with my past companies. So uh, with that being said, I knew I needed to donate blood to level out my hemoglobin. I felt so much more energy right away. I didn't feel sluggish, I wasn't heavy of breathing. Uh, cholesterol was off and that's not something that really typically runs in my family. So again, diet, um, I cleaned that up, cholesterol levels came back down and uh, definitely felt a lot healthier because of that reason. And lastly, you know, I knew there was always an issue with being prior military and the stress levels we go through. My testosterone uh, tended to be a little bit lower than normal. So with that being regulated, 
I honestly feel like I'm 18 again on top of the world. I got energy to play sports, run around with my kids, and uh, the blood work was definitely the difference of finding and knowing what's going on inside my body. So the Titan therapies that I personally use and love is number one is Hercules Potion. That stuff is, is incredible. Better than any pre-workout out there on the market that you can get from a, a local supplement shop. Uh, the pump is unreal, by the way. Uh, Titan Complete, I love it. It's my vitamin source every morning, making sure I'm getting everything in, uh, charging up the machine the right way. And then I also do MK677. Personally for me, I have trouble eating. The MK677 I've really noticed increases my appetite. Um, that's obviously refueling my body, healing my body, getting a lot more nutrients to my body. And it's really regulated out my hunger levels and of course my growth levels. And I gotta say that stuff's incredible. How do I feel now? Well, I gotta say from beginning to end, uh, it's night and day. To where I am now from several years ago when I started with Titan, uh, it's a dramatic difference. Um, I'm a family guy, I got five kids. I just, me and my significant other just had a brand new baby five weeks old and I gotta have energy. I work full time, uh, I actually work in Orlando so I'm driving every day, um, four hour drive, family man, spending time with the family, barely having the weekends off. I gotta say Titan Medical keeps my life in check. It gives me everything that I need to really have that energy, that fuel, uh, even motivation. Every morning I get up I'm feeling great and it just really kickstarts my day the right way and every night I sleep great which wasn't happening before so I gotta say I feel awesome. You know, I gotta say about the Titan Medical Provider Services is unmatched. I, I've been with other clinics before in hormone replacement therapy clinics and the night and day difference of how I was treated with them versus Titan, uh, Titan treats you like a family member. The coolest thing that I love is I got calls throughout the month just checking in to see how I'm feeling, not to try to get me to order something else or to push another you know, therapy. They were calling just to see, hey, how are you feeling? Is everything going okay? And that made me feel important and special. Um, I really love the staff here. Whenever I come in for blood work, everything is top notch. Um, you're greeted right at the front door. The, the doctors and physicians in the back are incredible. Um, in and out, but very professional and they definitely take great care of you. Um, I just wanna say as a Titan Medical patient, I am incredibly happy. Um, their services are great. Uh, I'll never go to another company just because I, I'm a true believer in what they stand for and what they represent. Uh, when they say you're a family, when you're a patient, it is true. Uh, I've been with them as friends for over 20 years, as a patient for about 11, and uh, in the family, I mean, it's a great place to be, man. You definitely want to get started with them, and they're going to take great care of you. So, I get the question all the time, how do you boost your testosterone levels naturally? Well, let's talk about it, because it'll make sense to you once we really lay out some of these things. And these are things that you guys can do very, very easily. The first one, exercise, activity. There's proven reviews and studies on this, that if you exercise, you will definitely help increase levels naturally of your testosterone. And there are some different exercises that you can do that will help even more. So let's talk about those. So lifting weights will actually benefit you a little bit more than just running cardio. Now HIIT training too will help with increasing testosterone levels as well. So that's just something very simple and easy, and it does make sense, right? It's like, well, if I do exercise, I'm probably gonna raise my testosterone levels. You're right, it's that simple and easy, okay? That's one way you can do it. The second way, nutrition, diet. I know you might hear this all the time. You are what you eat, of course we are. So if you eat garbage and you're putting that garbage to your body, your body's gonna become garbage. You don't want it looking like a trash can. Come on, we wanna look good out there, right? And don't say you don't. I don't care how big you are, small you are, we all want to be aesthetically pleasing, okay? So make sure you guys are getting in your macros. So what are macros, John? I get this too. So macros are carbohydrates, protein, and fats. And there's a certain amount that you want to get. If you're looking for what your special number is, go online, there's calculators for macros. You guys can find out that too. All right, the third thing, sleep. You would never think, oh, sleep is, sleep is gonna help you. You recover, you rejuvenate, your body needs it. Think of yourself as one of these electronic cars out there. You need to plug yourself in so you get a proper charge for your next day. Because we know that if you get 
no sleep, you're going to be brain dead and it's probably going to decrease or not make you feel or run optimally. And this goes right along with testosterone levels, okay? Vitamin D. Vitamin D is very important as far as testosterone levels. Now, people call it vitamin D, right? But it's really a hormone. And we get this hormone from the sun, right? Or other ways that we can get it. Supplementation, injection, orally. These are some of the different ways that you can get vitamin D and help increase or even keep your natural testosterone levels where they're at. You also wanna monitor your testosterone levels. And this is very simple to do, whether you're male or female. We can help you out nationwide. So if you want Titan Medical Center to take a look at where your hormones are at, especially your testosterone levels, and you wanna know, call or text us today, 727-389-3220, and make sure you check out the website, TitanMedicalCenter.com. What's up guys, John here, and I'm here with my beautiful wife Sharice. Hey guys. My son Peter, and our special guest, the O'Hearn family. Mike, Mona, and little Titaner in the house. And uh, you know, on Cupid's Corner, we're here every week for you guys to hopefully ignite, entice, and take your relationship to a whole different new level. Me and Sharice being together for over 15 years and seeing all the other relationships from our families and friends and other people, we want to give you guys different perspectives that will definitely help you guys out. Whether you're in a current relationship right now, or hey, listen, maybe you're single and you're looking for that perfect romantic relationship that's going to take you to whole new heights. So at that point this week, you know, we're sitting in the house. We're actually just sitting here with our friends. And I was like, you know what? Let's shoot a Cupid's Corner because this is something that couples should want to do. Whether it's sitting with their family or relaxing outside or doing activities and they're swimming, they're barbecuing or, you know, playing basketball or, you know, maybe wiffle ball outside. Or you have great friends like Mike, Mona and Titan that are over here and visiting us from a different state and actually getting to enjoy their time and not just doing the activities or having great conversations like we have. But, you know, breaking bread and eating a great meal together. You have no idea what that that is. It's like. When you do something like that, you know, you're getting on a personal level with whoever it is and you're creating another bonding experience. And you're like, wow, John, like you're talking about just like hanging out for a little bit. But that personal time, it's it goes so far, especially when you're on a genuine level and, you know, you're just vibing with each other and you're just relaxing. There's nothing forced. There's no pressures. It's just you guys just having a good time and just being you. And that, that's really what it's all about. And I think that's one thing that couples miss these days is, you know, we're so busy and we're so on the go and, you know, different schedules, you know, the parents may have and, and they're barely seeing each other. and They're barely spending time. But you got to set that time aside 
to have that relationship with your partner or your family, your son, your daughter, your fur babies, whoever it may be. Yeah, it's listen, it's easy to just say, okay, everybody go do your thing. And you got one guy that's over here and they're watching football. And then you got the wife that's watching Lifetime and in the room. And then you got the son playing video games in his bedroom and everybody's having a great weekend, but everyone's separate. That doesn't really do much for your bonding and being able to really hang out. So yes, you must have to force them. Tell them, come on, come sit down on the couch. Come sit next to me. Give me a hug. Come put your, your head on my lap. Let me, you just scratch your back. This guy over here, <laughs> Jesus. But, you know, it's little things like that that, you know, it really makes a big difference. And it's stuff like that that they remember. You know, I think that's one thing that sets our relationship aside is we spend so much time together. And the cool thing with Mike and Mona is they're kind of like us, where they spend yeah. majority of their time together, right? Well, they're working cool. together all, all day, super every cool. day. And not everyone can do that. Not everybody can do that. And we were talking about it at dinner the other night where we were talking about, you know, when the pandemic happened, it forced people to stay home and be together. And some relationships that were long-term relationships or marriages didn't last because when you're constantly together, um, you're going to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you're going to have all the quirks of your partner and see all those quirks, but you should love them for those quirks too. I mean, obviously not everything is peaches and cream 110% of the time and nothing's perfect in life and nobody's perfect, but you know, you want to give your best to your partner and you want the best back. And I, I think, you know, it really shows your true colors as a relationship of how much time you guys can spend together and, um, you know, and enjoy each other's company too as well. It's not just sitting in a room and you guys are both on your phones, but you guys are in the yeah. same room. It's, it, does, it doesn't count. It's literally spending that time, like literally like I've been trying to put my phone aside for you know the last couple of months where I'm, I'm spending time with them. I'm not worried about <laughs> anything that's going on on the phone. It's hard, um, but it, they, now they call it the black the hole one. where nobody can get a hold of me because like, oh, what are you doing? So what do you think, Mike? I mean, do you got any, any, any uh, great information for them because like, like I said, input? you know, you do the same thing as I do, right? You spend the majority of time with, with your, your lady and, and your, your son. And, uh, I think that's, that's all worthwhile. And you know, the sacrifice from anything else to be with them is, is the benefit, I guess. Yeah. I, I, I can't add much more to what you guys have already <laughs> said is it's, you're precise. It's I know the elders always say, marry your best friend, or, or, or if you're going to spend time with it, that person should be your best friend. And yeah. um, I can tell that with you guys. And I get there's a relationship there, but they're also your, your partner, but you're also best friend that you want to spend time with. Yeah. Fully understand that. I love it. I love that we're stuck together yeah. <laughs> because of choice we're, we're, we get My to friend. do. Um, and that's what, like, you guys get to work together, which is a cool plus. Yeah. And when we started... Uh, dating and stuff um there was a lot of uh commitments that we had to uh how would you say this how to break it down a better choice would be we had to make decisions on where we wanted to go with the future and more um an arrowhead a small pinpoint you give up some stuff right you, you, have, you gotta be exactly you gotta Absolutely. sacrifice a lot Absolutely. and i always say just live in the moment Yes. Live right. in the moment, right. because these times you'll never get to a moment back. That, that moment this will back. not ever be back. It's so so what's happening today, it's gonna be gone. I will talk about it, but live in the moment. Yes. Yeah. That's why I said to John, do whatever makes you happy, yeah. and don't care about anybody else's sets. You know. Yeah. It's so, it's so true. true. Mm -hmm. It's so true. So true. After so many years of. Um, constantly always being the pleaser and always being the person to want to please everybody. Sometimes you do forget that you do have yourself too. And you know, you do have your life. And I always say it, I'm, I'm notorious for saying this. You, you do not know what tomorrow holds for you. So that is why you have to live in the moment. Like Mona says, you know, it's, it, you may not get the moment back. Right. So you don't get time back. If I could buy more time, man, I would spend all my money on time. I would invest in time. I would buy more time, <laughs> stock in time. You know, just I would buy so much time. But, you know, unfortunately, it's not something you can buy, not something you can get back. So, you know, you have to use your time wisely. Use your time wisely and don't waste your time. Don't waste so, it. So like we've always talked about on this, communication is key with your partner, right? And you got to recognize, is your partner good for you or not? Now, listen, not all relationships are good relationships. 
there's positive relationships and there's toxic relationships out there. And at that point, you got to recognize some of these different things. Some people get into um, the habit of choosing something that's always going to be negative for them because they're so used to it, whether it was their upbringing, whether it was a, a previous partner. Um, but you got to, you know, as you're dating or you're going through these steps of relationships, it's kind of like a pyramid, right? You go with somebody, but you broke up with them for certain reasons. These are certain reasons that maybe you can't like, you can't live with, whatever it is. So you got to be more choosy on your next partner and say, listen, this is kind of what I'm looking for here. And if they don't fit that mold, it doesn't mean they might not be a good partner for you, but it might not fit your mold of what you're really looking for and what makes you happy. You got it. You got to You got to go with what makes you happy too, as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but you want somebody that's going to lift you up, that's going to give you positive energy back, and not drain energy from you too, as well, or do negative things for you. Um, I've seen a whole bunch of relationships out there where this is the case, or it's one person that is so infatuated and loved with the other person, but that's not reciprocated back, and that mm-hmm. person really doesn't care about yeah, them. Yeah, it's a one-way street. But they stay in that relationship because they're so hooked on that person. They love that person so much but that person's never going to reciprocate it back. And if you don't recognize that, you're going to have a lot of time that you've wasted on that person. Now, if your partner's not doing something for you that you don't like, you need to communicate that. Open your mouth. You don't have to be mean about it, but sit them down and have the conversation with them because don't assume that they know what you're talking about or what you're thinking or what you've done and you're you're upset at them about. I mean, it's, it's just something that... You have to communicate and you have to talk about and say, Ask John. Go ahead. Tell him. Ask him. Tell, tell him when, when, I, when was the notorious time of me telling John and communicating my feelings. Pick the right times because, you know, like I said, <laughs> no relationship is perfect. And we sure have went through our, you know, little bumps in the road too as well but you know every time that Sharice would be mad about something or have something serious to talk to me about it would be at night right before i'm about to close my eyes and go to sleep <laughs> literally time. or i might close every them time. say hey john no i'd be like hey so babe um I'm like, oh, what is now? there something i can talk to you about real fast and he's like seriously I he's mean, like i just took a shower <laughs> I'm laying down, I'm ready to go to sleep here, uh, you know, I'm relaxing, and at that point, what happens, she hits me with this serious conversation or something s- serious that she didn't like, and, and we have to go through this, and, you know, at that, that point in time, I'm kind of done with the day, you know, it, 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 there's, listen, there might not ever be a perfect time to bring something up. That was a great time for me, because then he would, be, he would be lethargic, he couldn't fight back. See? <laughs> she's trying to get me when I'm weak and when I'm down. Watch out for these girls. I always call a shriek, she's the wolf in sheep's clothing. Because she looks all pretty and nice on the outside, but man, when the, when it, the claws come out, you're in trouble. So at that point, you know, it's, it's just something that you guys need to take in consideration with uh, what you're looking for and for you to be happy. And you only have one life to live. You only have so much time on this planet. So be happy and enjoy your time with whoever it is. And like I said, it's not going to be peaches and cream all the time. There's ups and downs in life. Good stresses, bad stresses. You got to roll with the punches. Don't just let make sure get that the good outweighs the bad. Absolutely. And just make sure, you know, this is something that you want to do. Don't be forced in anything or don't be feel like you have to be there. Some people get in relationships and they've been in relationships so long and they don't like the relationship they're in, but they're comfortable there and they're uncomfortable getting out of the relationship to try mm-hmm. to have to go through that process again Truth. or they can't be alone. Um, you you got to be able to love yourself and you got to be able to spend some time by yourself. If you can't do that, you, you don't want to be codependent on anybody or depending on their vibe or energy to lift you up every day. Mm-hmm. If you have that energy and you bring that to the relationship and they have that energy, it's, it's just like me and her or him and her. Yeah. And they, they bring that energy together and just explodes into a whole new peak. To a superpower and, couple. And tier, like you would say top tier of, of where you're at. Mount Olympus is what I would say. And, um, you know, when, when you reach that level and you're happy like that, I mean, time just flies by. 15 years, 14-year-old son, you know, and, and everything that goes along with it. And, man, just it's time is flying by. I'm yeah. loving it. Uh, enjoying it and, and just want to be happy and, and spend time with them. Watch him grow up and to be a hopefully uh, excellent man, right? Where he's a productive part of society. He's got positive masculinity. He's teaching his kids the values, ethics, morals, and traits that we've instilled in him. And hopefully they go on to do the exact same. And um, that should be what your goal is. Hopefully, if you don't want to have kids, I understand that too. 
just invest in your partner, invest in your fur babies or whatever you want to do and um, enjoy it. So that is another Cupid's Corner. And this is kind of like an a improv uh, one that we yeah, wanted to go. We were like, you know what? Let's sit here and listen to Cupid's Corner. And you know, we got Mike in here. They're probably like, ah, what are we doing here? But you know what? <laughs> want to throw them in the mix too. I, I like right. to bring them in because they were like us. Good, they're like <laughs> us. They're, they're very similar. You know, they, so, they work together and they're together all the time. And they, I haven't seen them bite each other's face off. So that's what really brought me to do this because I was like, you know what? I was like, we're always together. They're always together. I was like, this is something cool for people to see because they might see our relationship. Like, you guys are an anomaly, right? You're an anomaly. This doesn't happen every day to everybody like this. And I could definitely not be with my partner every day. But there's there's a lot of people out there like that. And you don't have to be like that. Some people, they have a great relationship the way it is. And if that works for you, then continue exactly. on and be happy. All right. So that's another Cupid's Corner for me, Sharice, Pete, big Pete now, <laughs> uh, my man, Michael Hearn. His girl, Mona, and little Titan, his son. And Not all the tight. fur babies we got hanging out here. Zoe, Zena, Sashi. Big juice in the background. Got right here, Andreas and Jay taking Arteroni. photos. Much love to everybody out there. And catch us on Cupid's Corner every Sunday on ABC at 11 a.m. And don't worry, you can DVR it. And if you miss it or you're out of the state, don't worry. Just go to our YouTube channel. Type in Tight Medical Center. Hit the subscribe button. Ding. The all notification bell. Ding. You'll get to see all these great episodes and a lot more cool content from us and Tight Medical Center. We love you. Thank you for the support. And we'll see you next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.